He's gonna freak out when we all start blowing them. <laughs> Seventeen. Get it ready. I've got my drink right here. Eight, seven, six, five. You guys are delayed. Two, one. What is burning? Something's on fire! Oh, no, it is not! <laughs> Something's on fire! Kelly! Brother! Help! 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 I like that clink noise. Happy New Year! I'm not sure. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Mine sounds like someone's throwing one of the doors. Hello everybody, I'm Wild. Woo! Six to oh, and that hurt my throat. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Ow. My throat is sore because Rosie came over for New Year's, like she always does, and she was sick and didn't tell us this before she came over, and then she got here and she was coughing a lot and she got me sick. My throat hurts, that's the only thing I've got so far. Uh, maybe tomorrow it'll escalate or get better. I hope it gets better, I pray it gets better. Cause I really wanna record some freaking videos for the new year and like do stuff, but then I also feel sick. So, and I'm also like, Kaylee who stayed here for like a while after Christmas and then it was New Year's and she stayed here for a long time. And I feel like now I'm finally alone the holidays are gone and it's settled down and I want to make a bunch of videos and post them and stuff and now I'm getting sick again. Also, I'm wearing my beanie, as you can see. I'm gonna be fiddling with it a lot. I always do this because I hate when it lifts up off my head and then, like, look at this. I like to keep this little bit out but hide the rest of it because the, I like the little swoosh but then the rest of my hair looks like... I don't know, man. Also, I'm thinking about going even shorter with my hair, like, to my neck level. I don't know. I am getting crazy with my hair. First I dyed it black, then I get, got myself bangs, like a swoosh kind of thing, and then I swooshed it back, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna shave the side of my head, and now, and then I cut it short, the other, like, a couple months ago, like, buddy snored, and now I want to cut it even shorter. I don't know what the problem here is with me, but I just like to change my hair up, I guess, I, I don't know. Also, I'm wearing my new flannel and my new beanie, as I've mentioned. And I'm also wearing the shirt I didn't get to show you guys in the Christmas hoopla. It is a, I can't show it to you very well because it's on me. But it's a little paw print uh, that has like a picture inside of it. So, of like a wolf howling and like there's trees and it's like a forest and stuff. I don't know. That's the other shirt I got. I got two white shirts. That one that you guys saw in the video and then this one. Anyway. It is now 2019. The stuff you saw before this was me recording with my phone because at last minute I was like, you know what? I'm gonna record it. I have to. I did one of these videos for 2017 and 2018, but for 2017 it was just me recording the, you know, Happy New Year thing and that was it. It was like a minute long. And then for 2018 it was like a whole long video of me spilling myself about my year and stuff and I've, got, I've started a trend of doing that now for every year to come. But I feel like I won't be spewing as much this time because I'm dying right now just by talking a little bit. At the beginning of this year, I said it was going to be the, you know, the year of no fear and stuff like that. And then some, some stuff happened in September that literally just broke me. Like, I couldn't, like, say, oh, well, and I, kind of, I couldn't just, like, shrug it off my shoulder, pretend it didn't happen, and go about my life. It was, like, one of those big things that was, like, 
this happened. It was scary. It was traumatic. It was it was just scary. And I'm not gonna talk about it still, even though I, maybe I I mean I've mentioned it a lot in the months that it passed it where it happened and stuff. But I'm not gonna name names. And I'm not gonna talk about the whole experience and stuff like that. But it was it was scary, and it was it was like a like a life or death situation. Okay, it was like a death situation that was scary. Not it didn't happen to me. It happened to someone I'm close with. And it just kind of broke me, like mentally broke me for a couple months. And that's why videos after September were very scarce and I was very, uh. And then family stuff happened right around that same time. Like a lot of family stuff was going on. Like so much that I don't even want to explain it and I don't feel like putting their personal information out here on the internet. Uh, but it was a lot of family stuff that really just was unexpected and it was like, okay, wow. And then, in December, Mimi passed away. That was all the bad stuff that happened to me this year. And honestly, I'm pretty lucky how little bad stuff happened to me because I remember 2017 being like, uh, day after day, that entire year was just something hit me. And it wasn't just bad stuff in my life, it was my mental state. I was depressed for most of 2017, as I remember. And for 2018, I don't feel like I was depressed for most of it. That's why, in my mind, I think it was a pretty good year because for most of the year, all the way up until September, I didn't get very much depressed at all and I was loving what I was doing. I was making videos left and right. I was so proud of the videos that I was making. After September, it was like the videos I was posting got a little scarce and you could tell I was different in them and I wasn't acting like myself and I was broken slightly. I, when September happened, it made me start questioning who I am and stuff like that. and. And then all the stuff, the family stuff happened, it made me even question even more, and I don't know. The last couple of months I've really been put to the test of who I am as a person, and what I want to do in life, and I don't know why I'm on YouTube, you know, why I'm making videos, why I have this camera sitting in front of me with this microphone, and like, I have all this editing software, and I've got a microphone, like, what do I want to do with all this? What message am I trying to spread to people? What am I, what is my purpose? And I still have no answer. And I feel like the end of this year was God preparing me for 2019. For being who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. And like, I was getting deep. I was getting deep in my feelings. Kiki, do you let no. <laughs> I was I was deep in my emotions and not like, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to him. And I was just paying attention to what was happening down here. What I was going through, what I was feeling. Why hasn't he fixed me yet? Why am I still broken from September? That's what I've been struggling with ever since September. Ever since September, I've been struggling with why haven't you fixed me? Why am I still feeling this way? What broke me? What inside me broke that made me feel this way? That made me, when I'm sitting in front of a camera, made me act the way I'm acting. Because here lately, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but here lately in front of a camera, I act extremely shy, as if I'm standing in front of an actual person, and I get really anxious lately. Like right now, I'd be pausing every five seconds to adjust my beanie or fix the way I look or fix what I was stumbling on saying because I, I sounded weird when I said it and I, you know, my mouth looked funny when I said that or my teeth were showing. And now it's like, right now, it's in front of this camera and I'm like, just talk, just be a person. Like, you've been editing so much of your actual self out of your videos. Like the stumbles you say when you're talking that, you know, Normally you would laugh after you've like stumbled on your words, you'd be like, Bleh, and then you would laugh. But now it's like I stumble on my words and I just don't laugh. I'm just like, okay, gonna edit this out. Now it's like I cut out every moment where I breathe and I'm thinking about what to say. And I think that's been my problem. I've been getting too into, I have too much power to edit. <laughs> I've gone editing crazy. And I've edited out too much of myself and my flaws. And I'm trying to make myself look too perfect on camera. Because the truth is, we all have flaws. And we just don't like to show them, and no one really likes to broadcast their flaws on camera or anywhere to anyone. And here I am doing it in front of a camera like, this is my teeth, this is my hair, this is my arms. The, like, it's hard to be on camera. Even if there's like barely anyone that watches my videos. Right now, the only stuff I'm cutting out is when I'm swallowing and I look like I'm in pain, like I'm gonna die. Uh, because I need to have a moment to breathe and swallow and not, you know, die slowly. That's what I'm going to work on this year. I know I say this at the end of every year. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be brave. And last year, honestly, I think I was. Like, I was watching back one of the videos that I edited that I think have already gone up by the time this is getting posted. We'll see. Because I tried to post it earlier and it just, there was this moment where it was this complete black screen. 
and I didn't know what happened, and it happens throughout the video, and I think it's because I unplugged my hard drive, which, by the way, I got a hard drive for Christmas, but it wasn't technically for Christmas. I got it early because I had been asking for one before that because I've been running out of space on my computer to record stuff. It's been a hassle. I had to use my dad's hard drive for a while because I needed to put my stuff on there so I could delete it and actually have space on my computer. I unplugged it on accident, and um, it, for some reason during the video, made the screen go black because I forgot that I have some videos on my hard drive that aren't on my computer. So when it unplugged, it was like, where'd the video go? It's gone. I mean, I'm just gonna put a black screen here for a couple minutes and that might work. So I have to re-render it, which is an hour long video, by the way, that has to render again. It took all day to render and I'm upset. But I decided to make this video anyway tonight because I knew if maybe tomorrow I'm not feeling, like I'm feeling worse and I'm definitely not gonna wanna record this video. Uh, so I'm recording it now at 1 a.m. And yeah, I just wanted, I was watching that video back and looking at stuff I've done this year, like we went to the store, me and my mom went to the store and we, you know, were stupid and stuff in public. And I also changed my logo to Archie. I made a completely new logo, didn't care if anybody thought he looked weird or if he wasn't cool and my other logo was cooler, which technically in my opinion, I took a ginormous step up. My other logo, now when I look at it, I'm like, that logo was so bad. Why did I ever have that? What was my problem? But now I've got Archie and um, I love him. I keep thinking of different like ways to draw him, to, like an emoji style so I can have him in my thumbnails or like on my video randomly looking confused. Like, what is your problem? He represents me and he's also himself. And I think that's why I love him so much. Cause he can be, you know, when people see him, they can't think of me, but they also think of how his person, like I'm molding his personality now. Like I created him and now he's been becoming more and more of a personality to me. And like when I draw him, you can see his personality comes out in the drawing. And it, he kind of reminds me a little bit of the way that I used to, you know, think of Rocky, which is my Webkin's Timberwolf. He, his personality reminds me of his, which is technically mine, which is my, my mom has said my entire life. She's like, you know, Rocky is just you, right? And then that really became true when my username on Animal Jam is Rocky and that made my friends start calling me Rocky. Then I was like, okay, well, this is definitely God saying you are Rocky and you've always been Rocky. That personality that you love so much on the Timberwolf, that's you. You love yourself. It's okay to love yourself and your personality. So I've been moving that personality over to Archie. I don't know, it's like reliving when I got Rocky all over again, only now it's a thing that I created, a character that I designed. And I still have him on the hoodie, by the way, I just don't wear it very often because now when I look at it, I see the old version of him before I've updated it. And I'm like, oh, I can see every flaw. So I just don't wear it as often, but it's nice to have for the future when I'm like, oh, I still have the first ever drawing of him on a hoodie. I'll probably like frame it up in one of those things one day and like put it on my wall. And I'll probably get another Archie on a hoodie, the updated version. And you'll be able to see him progress on all the different hoodies that I'm gonna have in the future. I need to make more videos of me just talking to you guys about random stuff because I really do enjoy it. But I think I enjoy making gaming videos more. <laughs> like, uh, I think right now my the best of both worlds of talking to you guys and making a gaming video is Mission Impossible because that's gonna be where I'm doing a lot of grindy work to finish the series. Uh, I might do live streams in January and throughout like freaking 2019 of just streams on Mission Impossible. Uh, whenever I'm doing something boring and grindy that I don't want to actually be in the episode, but I want to just do a live stream of it to get it out of the way. A couple days later after I posted Mission Impossible, uh, Mimi passed away, and that's why there haven't been many episodes of Mission Impossible since then. I was gonna post at least an episode two before the end of the year, but Mimi and the New Year stuff happened and Christmas, and I just had never had a chance to. Uh, cause that series is gonna take a lot of time and effort into like making and going to find all the stuff and getting all the achievements and I gotta find a freaking notch apple and crap and it's gonna be a big series to do. Uh, but I'll probably do even more challenges like Mission Impossible uh, stuff that's not like right now. That's why in the intro, the intro says, uh, this season is advancements. In this season, Rocky will face advancements. Rocky must acquire all the advancements in the game to win. Because that means there's gonna be other seasons of Mission Impossible that are not advancements. They're like, this season, no crafting table challenge. This season, uh, do, so defeat the Ender Dragon using only, only your fist. Like, that would be nearly impossible. Uh, stuff like that. It's just gonna be stuff in Mission Impossible that I just wanna do challenges on survival Minecraft that are just vanilla. The other thing I forgot to mention in the uh, Christmas Hoopla video, and I kept pointing at it with that other clip, was this hoodie. I don't know if you can see it very well. You saw it in the clip though. I'll put it here. 
It says no fluffs given, and it's just a plain black. Like that's on the back of the of the hoodie. The front is just a plain black hoodie and stuff. And it's a really nice hoodie. Like it's very well made, and I wore it when the ball dropped and stuff, and I wore it that entire day. But yeah, that and this shirt were the things that I had to go over in that video that I couldn't. I forgot about that one, but I I just couldn't go over this one. This was my 2018 on the roller coaster scale. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So we're going back uphill now uh, in this new year. Hopefully it doesn't be like January, February or something like that. I hope nothing else happens. But so far that's been my 2018 was just a roller coaster of up, up, up and down. And then a little bit going up again and then down and then up again. Here we go and hopefully no more downs for a while. So the word I would use to probably describe my 2018 was change. It was change. There was a lot of good change and a lot of bad change. I think it was like around the end of last year, year, it was the end of last year or it was the beginning of 2018 or somewhere around that time that I was walking on the treadmill every day and I was watching my preacher and I was just so happy. I was so blissful and then I think my brother got a job and then it made me start questioning what I was doing with my life and why I haven't gotten a job yet or my license or anything like that, which I still don't have a job, license or permit. And then it is now 2018 video. I said, I'm gonna either get my license or at least my permit and I didn't do either of those because I learned that that's not really something that I want. I think I just thought I wanted it because Everybody I knew had their license. I just realized that getting a license and a job and stuff like that was just not something that I wanted to do with my life and not something that would make me happy right now. It would just probably make me miserable having to go to work every day and come back and forth and not really having time to do anything that I want to do. But it was something at the time that I was just like, this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. And it felt like a very stressful thing to be like, okay, I have to get my permit. I have to get my permit. I don't know, it just felt like I was being very pressured to get my permit, even though no one else was pressuring me and no one really cared if I did, it was just me. Cause it was just like society was like, this is what you're supposed to be doing right now. You're 18 and you still don't got your license or a job. What is wrong with you? And then that was most of my 2018 was having to come to terms with, that's not what I want to do. But yeah, my 2019 is probably gonna be based around what the end of my year was based around, which is trying and trying and trying to become me. And maybe I shouldn't obsess over it that much because then I'm not gonna become who I'm supposed to be because I'm so focused on who I'm supposed to be. <laughs> and I'm just gonna wait and see who he says I'm supposed to be and who he makes me. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But yeah, right now that's what my agenda is, is just to make videos and I don't know. What is my resolution this year? Last year it was to be brave. This year, I'm just gonna try and do better than I did last year at everything, at life. <laughs> better at life. New year, better at life. That's my, that's my goal this year. I don't know, I don't have one. And I usually, if I wanna change, I will work on it no matter what year it is, whether it's the start of a year, or the end of the year, or the middle of the year. If I wanna be someone or if I wanna change something about myself, I'll do it whenever. It won't have to just be like, oh, New year, now I can finally start working out again. It doesn't matter to me, I'll just start doing it. But I will say, new year, it always does feel like a new start. No matter if I'm just gonna be doing the same old, same old that I always do, it still feels like a new moment, in, like a new season in your life, every time a new year comes. That's because it is a new season, because 2018 was a whole different season of my life than 2017 was, and 2016 was a whole different season of my life than 2017. So I feel like 2019 is gonna be a really good season. I don't know why, I just have a little tiny feeling that it's gonna be a good year. And I had a tiny feeling that it was gonna be a good year last year, but not as high a feeling as I do this time. And we know the Rocky sense is never wrong. I don't know, I can stand being sick if it's like the kind of sick where you like throw up a lot, but I can't stand being sick where it's like, like the kind of sick where your throat is sore and you cough a lot and you get the sniffly nose and stuff. Like mine's starting to stop up a little bit right now. To summarize, my 2019 is gonna be based around me being me, me not caring, me being brave, all the things from last year really, but also doing whatever I feel like doing throughout the year. If I think of like, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do it. That's just gonna be the way it goes. I don't know, I'm just gonna go through this year being hopeful Hopeful that we'll make it through. Hopeful that he'll help us make it through this year, okay? And hopeful that we'll just make it through together. Me and you. Just you. That that person right there. You. Yeah. No, not you. No, not you either. That one. Yeah, you. You. Right there. 
I'm going to be hopeful that no matter what gets thrown our way this year, and no matter if it's worse or better than what happened in 2018, we're going to be okay. That I know for sure, because the only thing, like, you can tell me your whole story about what happened through 2018, and there's still one thing I'm going to know by the time you get done telling me your story about 2018. You made it through it, didn't you? You're here now, aren't you? You made it through. And we're going to do it again and again until the end of our days, really. Until we're the person we are supposed to be. And we fulfill whatever purpose he has for us. That's what my goal is, to do whatever he wants me to do at this point. At this point, I've got no resolution because I'm just waiting for him to tell me what I'm supposed to do this year. And then I'm going to just grow with it because I've been trying to control my own life for too long. And take it into my own hands. Like, I'm going to do this, this, yeah, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to win, and I'm going to win at life, and I'm going to go places. Now he's telling me, just slow down, okay? Just let me do this, because only I can see what's coming up. You can't, so calm down down there, okay? All right? Okay. And I'm over here like, okay, okay. I've, I've got your point. Uh, by the end of this year, by September, I was like, all right. Jesus, take the wheel. I, I take it from my hands. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm going to just let him do his thing. Because that's always been my problem. Uh, I don't know, my entire life is to try and take, try and do it myself. I used to say it every time I was little and I'd always like, like what she said I would be trying to try put my shoes on and she'd be like, here, let mommy help. And I'd be like, I'll do it myself. And then I'd put him on the wrong feet. And I'd walk around like that anyway because I just knew that I did a good job and I was going to be proud. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a habit of doing things myself and not caring about someone wanting to help me or anything like that. Emotional and physical. If I'm having a mental problem, I'm like, someone's like, here, tell me your problems. I'm like, I'm good. I don't have to talk about it. I'm fine. There's a lot of things I want to do myself, but I can't, and I know that he has to help me do. Like, I wish I could overcome my emotions by myself, but I need him for that. That's the truth of it. I need him to help me overcome. I don't know. He's the only reason I am the way that I am. Because without him, I don't know what would have happened to me. Because he's the one who gave me Rocky. And Rocky's the one who helped me to figure out who I was through just making a stuffed animal dance on the screen. And then Rocky led to me being on YouTube and figure out, figuring out more about myself through videos and editing and making them and stuff like that. So he started this whole chain of reaction that I'm still in right now. And things are getting a little bit more of like rocky, like a bumpy, like it's going like this for a while and then it started getting a little bumpy as it went. And now I'm over here like, okay, I can handle this. I can handle this. I gotta, I gotta I, to think this way. Don't think about that. Do this. Don't do that. And he's like, no, haven't you seen from the very beginning that I started this like a ripple effect with Rocky? I gave you a stuffed animal that literally led you to do what you've never even knew that you wanted to do. Something you never even thought you would do because you were too shy to even talk to a person face to face. And now you're making videos on the entire internet for anyone to see. So, I mean, if he can start this little tiny ripple that leads to like uh, like years and years of doing this, then he can handle what I'm going through right now. Even though it wasn't the best change, it was change. And that's what I asked for. I prayed for him. I prayed to him. I was like, please help me change. Change the way I am. Change me to be who I'm supposed to be. And then September happened, and we all know how that went with the roller coaster thing. September, October, November, December. And then it was like, okay, I asked you to change me, and then you completely break me? What is that? And then he said, well, the more broke you are, the more your light will shine through. And that freaking struck me in the heart like a freaking fist to the chest. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got right now. Okay, I'm sick. And it opened my eyes because it was like, I guess we have to be broken a, li like a little bit. We can't be perfect beings for our entire life. Like, what do we expect? Every year is going to just be a perfect breeze. Like, we go into a year thinking, this is going to be the best year of my life. I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to... September. <laughs> it's like that. It is literally like that. It's like we think everything's going to be perfect and we don't expect bad things to happen. And then the worst things happen. Either they're really bad things that happen or we're just not expecting bad things to happen. So when something bad does happen, it slams us in the face. Like, we're not expecting it. So it's just like... The biggest punches come. Like, if someone hits you when you're not expecting it, it hurts a lot more. But when you're expecting someone to slap you, it doesn't hurt that much. Like, when you're in someone's face and you slap them, and you know you're about to get slapped by them, and they're, like, testing a slap or something, I don't know. You know, testing your slap skills. It doesn't hurt that bad. But if someone just comes out of nowhere and slaps you in the face, it's gonna hurt a lot. And that's how it is with the year. That's how it goes. If you're walking into a year expecting to get slapped a lot, 
you're gonna not be as surprised. I mean, it's still gonna hurt a lot. It's still gonna hurt because slaps always will hurt, even if you're expecting one to come. It's still gonna hurt, but you're not gonna be as startled and sh shaken up by it as you would be if it was just someone walking up to you and slapping you in the face on the street. Which is basically how that year went for me. That's basically how 2018 was for me. It was like doo 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 walking down the street. September. <laughs> when September came, it was like a slap to the face that I was not ready for. In the slightest, and that's what made me stay on the ground crying for a couple of months. <laughs> so this year, I'm going into this year hopeful, but also not, you know, just gonna think everything's gonna turn out sunshine and rainbows and stuff. And I'm going into this year hoping for the best. Hoping that there are gonna be some really amazing things that happen this year, but I also being prepared for the bad things, because there's always gonna be something bad. You know there is. There can never be a year without something bad happening. And if there is a year where something bad does not happen to you, you can, I mean, you're blessed. That was a very blessed year for you, and I hope you really had one in 2018. I hope someone out there had a year just where nothing bad happened. Like, yeah, maybe you got depressed a little bit and had, like, a moment of, like, weeks or a month where you were just depressed, or a couple months where you were depressed. But then after that, like, your whole life shifted and you got, like, this new outlook and stuff like that. Like, something good always comes out of that stuff. Where if you're depressed for months, something good will come out of it. If something bad happens to you, like, really traumatic back-to-back, -back, something good is gonna happen in that next year or the next couple of months after that. It, something good will always come out of it, and you just don't even know it yet until something good has already happened, and you're like, oh! That's why I had to be so depressed in April. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, that is gonna be this video because I'm dying. Um, and I really wanna go to sleep now, but also don't because I know I'm gonna wake up tomorrow being even more dead than I am right now. 2019, while it is a fresh year and we don't know what it has in store, it's gonna be a good one. I have a, I have a slight sense that it's gonna be a good one. If not for me, then I hope for somebody out there it's gonna be a better year than you had because I know there's a lot of people out there who've had way worse years than I have this year. And I hope the best for you if you're like, some people are gonna be watching this in like a hospital bed or I don't know, just they're having a hard time at, with their family life or something and they like are moving or something or their house is, you know, due on rent and they don't have the money to pay it and stuff. Just some people go through really bad crap and I don't, I don't think I ever really was aware of reality for a while now because for a while in my life I was like I have things all happy I make videos I'm in my own little world for like a very long time I was in my own little world just as happy like happy-go-lucky in my own little world I, I would get occasional spouts of just depressing moments in my life where I'd be depressed for months but September was a whole other thing it was like I don't know September all the way to December last year was eye-opening to me. It was like I saw the world in a whole other way than I ever have and I think that's what was good about that year that I just didn't see in the time. In the time I feel like my heart and my soul was shattering. Now it's like I got a whole new outlook on life and how it can be and how bad it can be and how good it can be. I, that's what that year gave me. It gave me a perspective of the good moments in life and the bad ones that can happen. And now I'm going into this new year expecting good things and expecting some bad things as well. I've got no resolution for this year. I'm gonna let him decide whatever that is. I'm ready. Come at me, man. I'm ready to get slapped, okay? I'm ready this time. <laughs> I've, I've had that person that gets knocked down while they're like boxing and then they stay on the ground for a little bit and then they get up like, okay, okay, you can punch me again. I'm ready this time. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I'm dying and I have to because it's late and I'm literally gonna die. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys had a really good 29, 2019. Yep, we're already at the end of the year, guys. It was great. No. I hope you guys had a really good 2018. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed the videos that I made in 2018 because there were a lot of them that I just really was like addicted to watching back and uh, like over and over again, like Dimensions. I loved making Dimensions and like creating that idea. And it's still going and I'm making more and more with Kaylee. And we're just, we're having fun with that series of just Dimensions. And we played Bean Boozled and we threw up together. And we did a bunch of other stuff. So go watch the video that I will leave linked in the description. And it'd also be the end card uh, up in a moment. My 2018 was okay. I would classify it as a good year. Uh, because like 2017 was okay. 2016 was okay. 2018 to me, I would classify as good. Hopefully 2019 is the one that's classified as great. <laughs> but only time will tell. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. It really 
makes me happy when you guys watch these things and, you know, share your story of 2018 and your resolutions and stuff. And just share how you feel. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I don't know. Just, it makes me happy. Even if you just, even if I just see a couple views on the video and there's no likes and there's just like three views, I'm like, someone watched. And then when someone does, like, my heart, like, drops. I'm like, oh, someone watched it and they liked it. I don't know. It makes me happy. See, I don't get likes and views to, like, feel famous or feel cool or get money. It just makes me happy. You know? To, to know that somebody else laughed or liked one of my videos and it made their day a little happier. I enjoy that. I enjoy knowing that I made someone's day a little bit brighter. And I can't wait to do that even more throughout 2019. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. I'm wild. Woo, 6 -0. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. I love doing this so much. I feel like a cool person when I do this. Like I'm a soldier. It's like, attention. Okay. <laughs> you can go now. Sorry. I just I had to go on about that. Because I did it so dramatically. I was like, mm. it felt so cool. Okay. I felt cool for a second, okay? I'm about to sneeze. In the video, please, before I die. <coughs> oh God, no, save me. I'll see you guys in a while because I'm probably gonna be sick for a while.